everyone let us discuss this concept see when we say this given series is convergent and when we say it is divergent i would consider a very simple series summation n and sn be a sequence of its partial sum getting so let us try to understand when we say the series is convergent if that series summation n has a finite value then we say the series is convergent and if it has infinite value we are getting we are adding infinite terms there summation n and running from 1 to infinity that means a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus and so on we are adding infinite terms there if sum of those infinite terms is finite we say the series is convergent and if the sum is infinite then we say the series is divergent okay so one more definition i will tell you when we have a sequence of partial sum and it is convergent then also we say the series is convergent and converges to the same point getting that means summation sn suppose it converges to point a then series also convergent and converges to the same point a and if the sequence of partial sum is divergent then we say series is also divergent getting so by using a sequence of partial sum we decide the series is convergent or series is divergent see we are already familiar with the sequence of real numbers getting so we are familiar with those, all those results so the same results we have to use here to check whether the sequence of partial sum is convergent or not let us discuss one example so you can easily understand what is meaning of it okay make a screenshot of it then we will go further so here i am considering a series summation 1 upon 3 raised to n and snbh sequence of partial sum okay we are going to check whether that series is convergent or divergent so what, what we do we find a sequence of partial sum and we check actually the sequence of partial sum is convergent or divergent according to that we say the series is convergent and divergent so let us find sn first so you know that s1 that means the first term 1 by 3 s2 that means sum of first two terms so we'll have 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square s3 will be 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 3 cube getting s4 will be 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 3 cube plus 1 by 3 raised to 4 and so on i will write sn 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square plus and so on 1 by 3 raised to n and so on okay and so on so this is the sequence of partial sum we have got all terms of sequence of partial sum so 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square getting so actually it's a geometric series having a common ratio 1 by 3 so you know that i should mention somewhere when we have a geometric series for geometric series or geometric progression where a is first term getting a is first term r is common ratio r is common ratio and n is number of terms n is number of terms then their sum we have a formula a 1 minus uh, 1 minus r s to n divided by 1 minus r so this is a formula we have to find a sum of first sum of uh, terms of uh, which are in geometric progression getting so it is in geometric progression geometric progression means what that means when we have a first term if you multiply by a fixed number you get a second term if you multiply it by a fixed number you get a third term so that is called geometric progression so 1 by 3 we have if you multiply it by 1 by 3 you will have the second term so it's a geometric progression having first term a what is the first term 1 by 3 and what is a common ratio it is again 1 by 3 and n means number of terms 2 let us apply the formula to find its sum a 1 by 3 1 minus common ratio is 1 by 3 number of terms n is number of terms 2 divided by 1 minus r is 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 1 minus 3 square divided by okay you can cross multiply 2 by 3 3 3 will get cancelled 1 by 2 1 minus 1 by 3 square so this is a value of s2 so let us find s3 in the same way getting i'm going to find s3 in the same way using the same formula since it is again a geometric progression having first from 1 by 3 and the common ratio is 1 by 3 again so what will we have again i will apply the same formula 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 i should write cube here getting so now the value of n is 3 
and 1 minus 1 by 3. So as you can see, there is no much difference. Have, okay, same terms we have. Simply we have 1 upon 3 square. Here we have 1 upon uh, 3 cube. Getting. So finally, if you solve in the same way, we will have 1 by 2, 1 minus 1 by 3 cube. Similarly, you can guess S4. Value of S4 will be in the same way. 1 by 2, 1 minus 3, 1 by 3 raised to 4. Okay, similarly, SN also we can write 1 by 2, 1 minus 1 by 3 raised to N and so on. So, this is the formula of SN. So, SN we have got right now and we have to check whether that is convergent or not. That sequence of partial sum is convergent or not. We have some space here. Let us use. Then, limit N tends to infinity. I am going to find SN. So, limit N tends to infinity. What is SN? 1 by 2. 1 minus 1 by 3 raised to n. So, you know that as n tends to infinity, let me write it here. As n tends to infinity, 3 raised to n is also in, tends to infinity and 1 upon 3 raised to n tends to 0. As denominator tends to infinity, 1 upon that total term will go to 0. So, that's why its value will be 0. So, 1 by 2, 1 minus 0. So, it's 1 by 2. So, we can declare here sequence of partial sum Sn is convergent and converges to 1 by 2. As the sequence of partial sum is convergent, we say the corresponding series is also convergent and converges to the same point 1 by 2. So, the value of that summation 1 upon 3 raised to n is 2, 1 by 2 only. Okay, Make a screenshot of it. After that, I will write the remaining part. So, I have written a conclusion here. Okay. So, what we have got sequence of partial sum Sn is convergent and converges to 1 by 2. So, that's why the corresponding series summation 1 upon 3 raised to n that is also convergent and converges to the same point 1 by 2. Same thing we can write in this way summation 1 upon s raised to sorry 3 raised to n is equal to 1 by 2. So, make a screenshot of it then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.